Sigoni, Sigoni, how's your macaroni? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start a new beginner washcloth series. And to kick it off, we're going to learn how to crochet the treble pop dishcloth or washcloth, however you want to use it. I'm putting together this washcloth series as a way for beginners to practice the basic stitches, but also come away with something valuable. By crocheting the treble pop crochet washcloth, you'll be practicing the single and treble crochet. You'll also learn how to create this really fun bobbly texture without having to to go through all the motions of creating the bobble stitch. All right, without further ado, let's learn how to crochet the treble pop dishcloth. To get started with this tutorial, you will need one ball of Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a five millimeter crochet hook. You can also use another medium weight yarn that's 100% cotton or at least with a cotton blend because cotton is the best fiber to use when it comes to washcloths and dishcloths. To get started, we're going to chain 32. Now for our first row, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So this loop on our hook does not count as a chain, so we're gonna start from here. So this is our first chain, and this is our second chain. So we're going to single crochet into that second chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. And now we're just gonna single crochet in each chain across. So here's your next chain. Yarn over, pull through two, and your next chain here. You can find the written and picture tutorial for this pattern by clicking the link in the description box below. And now we've reached our last chain of this row, so we're going to single crochet into that last chain. And this is your first row of the treble pop washcloth. Now we're going to chain one and turn your work. So we're looking at the back side and we're going to single crochet into that very first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now in the next stitch, we're going to make a treble crochet. So to create a treble stitch, we're going to yarn over our hook two times and insert your hook into the next stitch. Now yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your treble crochet. Next, we're going to single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So just go straight into that next stitch and single crochet. and treble crochet into the next. So again, wrap your yarn around your hook two times and insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to repeat that same pattern down the row. So three single crochet, treble, three single crochet, treble until you reach the end. Something I like to do whenever I'm creating my treble is I like to hold onto the yarn on my hook with my finger as I'm making the treble to make sure that my yarn doesn't fall off. So that might help you if you're having trouble with your yarn slipping off. All right, so after you create your last repeat, you should have one stitch left and we're just going to single crochet into that stitch. And now you're done with your second row. If you look at your second row from this angle, it doesn't look like much, but when you flip it over, you can see all of those treble pops that you created. So that's a really fun way to create a bobble stitch without having to do all that work. Now to move on to row three, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And for this row, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across. So we'll create our first stitch right here on top of our single crochet. And then our next stitch is this treble crochet and you'll have to move it over a little bit so you can see that stitch there. So just continue single crocheting in each stitch across. 
Okay, and that was the end of row three. So row three was just single crocheting in each stitch across. And I forgot to mention in row one that you should have 31 stitches at the end of each row. For row four, we're just gonna repeat row three and single crochet in each stitch across. And for row five, we're gonna chain one, turn your work, and again, single crochet in each stitch across. Our first row was single crochet, our second row was the treble pop stitches, and then rows three through five were all single crochet. Now to start row six, we're just going to chain one and turn your work. Now single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So we'll single crochet into that first stitch and each of the next two stitches. Then make a treble stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Single crochet into the next three and just continue that pattern until you reach the end of the row. Okay, so I ended row six with three single crochet into the last three stitches. So now when you look at the front of the work, you can start to see that bobbly texture. So I know when I lay it down like this, you can't really tell, but this is where your first row of bobbles are, and this is where your second row of bobbles are. So they're right in the middle of your first set of bobbles. Now for rows seven through nine, you're going to chain one and single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so I've reached the end of row nine and the end of our pattern repeat. So what we're going to do from this point forward is repeat rows two through nine until you reach row 42. And I will meet you back at row 42. All right, so I just finished row 42. So for row 43, we're gonna chain one, turn your work, and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across and then we will be all done. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. All right, now to finish our treble pop washcloth, we're going to tie off our yarn. So grab your scissors, cut off a couple inches, and then yarn over, pull that loop through, and pull it all the way through, and tighten it so that it's nice and secure. Then just go ahead and weave in your ends. And, of course, and if there are mistakes, don't worry about it. It's just a washcloth. That's why washcloths are so great for beginners to practice their stitches on, because your countertop isn't gonna care if you have a mistake. So go make lots of these in a bunch of different colors, save the wonky ones for yourself, and gift away the pretty ones. These are great gifts, and they're great to practice the basic stitches. So I'll see you next week for another addition to the Beginner Washcloth series. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you next time.